the ancient word series the gospel of the holy twelve special message abstain from all things gotten by bloodshed and death chapter 14 as christ yeshu maria was going with some of his disciples he met with a certain man who trained dogs to hunt other creatures and he said to the man why doest thou thus and the man said by this i live and what profit is there to any in these creatures these creatures are weak, but the dogs they are strong. And Christ Yeshu Maria said, Thou lackest wisdom and love. Lo, every creature which God hath, made hath its end, and purpose, and who can say what good is there in it, or what profit to thyself, or mankind? And, for thy living, behold the fields yielding their increase, and the fruit bearing trees and the herbs what needest thou more than these which honest work of thy hands will not give to thee? Woe to the strong who misuse their strength. Woe to the hunters for they shall be hunted. Chapter 19 As Christ Yeshu Maria was praying in a certain place on a mountain, some of his disciples came unto him, and one of them said, Lord teach us how to pray. And Christ Yeshu Maria said unto them, When thou prayest enter into thy secret chamber, and when thou hast closed the door. Pray to Abraham a father mother who is above and within thee, and thy father mother who sayest all that is secret shall answer thee openly. But when ye are gathered together, and pray in common, use not vain repetitions, for your heavenly parent knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask them. After this manner therefore pray ye our father mother who art above, and within hallowed, be thy name in twofold trinity. In wisdom, love and equity thy kingdom come to all. Thy will be done, as in heaven so in earth. Give us day by day, to partake of thy holy bread, and the fruit of the living vine. As thou dost forgive us our trespasses, so may we forgive others who trespass against us. Show upon us thy goodness, that to others we may show the same. In the hour of temptation, deliver us from evil. Show upon us thy goodness, that to others we may show the same. In the hour of temptation, deliver us from evil. And wheresoever there are seven gathered together in my name there am I in the midst of them, yea, if only there be three or two, and where there is but one who prayeth in secret, I am with that one. Raise the stone, and there thou shalt find me. Cleave the wood, and there am I four in the fire, and in the water even as in every living form, God as manifest as its life and its substance. And the Lord said, If thy brother hath sinned in word seven times a day, and seven times a day hath made amendment, receive him. Simon said to him, Seven times a day? The Lord answered, and said to him, I tell thee also unto seventy times seven, for even in the prophets, after they were anointed by the Spirit's utterance of sin was found. Be ye therefore considerate, be tender, be ye pitiful, be ye kind, not to your own kind alone but to every creature, which is within your care, for ye are to them as gods, to whom they look in their need. Be ye slow to anger for many sin and anger which they repented of, when their anger was past. And there was a man whose hand was withered, and he came to Christ Yeshu Maria and said, Lord, I was a mason seeking sustenance by my hands, I beseech thee restore to me my health, that I may not beg for food with shame. And Christ Yeshu Maria healed him, saying there is a house made without hands, seek that thou mayest dwell therein. Chapter 20 And after a season the two and seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. In that hour Christ Yeshu Maria rejoiced in spirit, and said I thank thee, holy parent of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes even so, all holy, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of the all-parent, and no man knoweth the son who is the daughter, but the all-parent, nor who the all-parent is, but the son even the daughter, and they to whom the son and the daughter will reveal it. 
and he turned him unto his disciples, and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you, that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Blessed are ye of the inner circle who hear my word, and to whom mysteries are revealed, who give to no innocent creature the pain of prison or of death, but seek the good of all, for to such is everlasting life. Blessed are ye who abstain from all things gotten by bloodshed and death, and fulfill all righteousness blessed are ye, for ye shall attain to beatitude. Chapter 21 And it came to pass, that the Lord departed from the city, and went over the mountains with his disciples. And they came to a mountain whose ways were steep and there they found a man with a beast of burden. But the horse had fallen down, for it was overladen, and he struck it till the blood flowed. And Yeshu went to him, and said Son of cruelty, Why strikest thou thy beast? Sayest thou not, that it is too weak for its burden, and knowest thou not that it suffereth? But the man answered, and said What hast thou to do therewith? I may strike it as much as it pleaseth me, for it is mine own, and I bought it with a goodly sum of money. Ask them who are with thee, for they are of mine acquaintance and know thereof. And some of the disciples answered and said, Yea, Lord, it is as he saith, we have seen, when he bought it. And the Lord said again, See ye not then how it bleedeth, and hear ye not also how it waileth and lamenteth? But they answered and said, Nay, Lord, we hear not that it waileth and lamenteth. And the Lord was sorrowful, and said, Woe unto you, because of the dullness of your hearts, ye hear not how it lamenteth and creeth unto the heavenly Creator for mercy, but thrice woe unto him against whom it creeth and waileth in its pain. And he went forward and touched it, and the horse stood up, and its wounds were healed. But to the man he said, Go now thy way and strike it henceforth no more if thou also desireth to find mercy. And seeing the people come unto him, Yeshu, said unto his disciples, Because of the sick I am sick, because of the hungry I am hungry, because of the thirsty I am athirst. He also said, I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering anything of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you, even as it came to your fathers in the wilderness who lusted for flesh, and they eat to their content, and were filled with rottenness, and the plague consumed them. And I say unto you, though ye be gathered together in my bosom, if ye keep not my commandments I will cast you forth. For if ye keep not the lesser mysteries, who shall give you the greater? He that is faithful, in that which is least is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in the least, is unjust also in much. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the mammon of unrighteousness, who will commit to your trust the true riches? And if ye have not been faithful, in that which is another man's, who shall give you, that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters for either he will hate the one, and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. And the Pharisees also, who were covetous, heard all these things, and they derided him. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts for, that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The law and the prophets were until John, since that time the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. But it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away, than one title of the law to fail. And the man marveled, and left off training the dogs to hunt, and taught them to save life rather than destroy, and he learned of the doctrines of Christ Yeshu Maria, and became his disciple. May Christ Yeshu bless you all with his peace, and abide with you always. Reverend Melissa Smith. Peace be with thee.